Whoa! Vortex! Hello. I didn't mean to start shooting there, but there you are, and here I am, and we are on the interstate, going very slow per usual. Oh, my car light finally went out, so I'm using the uh, flashlight from my flip phone. Isn't that cool? I guess if my flip phone stops working because it operates on 3G technology, which is no longer going to be relevant pretty soon, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll just use it as a flashlight. And I won't talk to anybody anymore. <laughs> they think that people are just going to conform. Most people will, it's true, most people will, but not yours truly because yours truly hates conformists because conformists are the reason why we're in this mess, okay? Conformists are the reason why nothing changes. that y'all can see my beautiful face. I usually film Nashville right now, but I think that you have seen that footage enough. I'm pretty sure that, that I've shot videos, like, I've probably shot at least 15 videos of like the same exact thing over and over and over again. Tonight was brutal. I mean, not for me, because, you know, we hardly ever bomb. Even on our worst nights of doing comedy, we always say at least two things that get a laugh. To truly bomb is to not say anything that's funny, to not get anybody on your side, to not have anybody's attention. Um, we usually have people's attention. But I feel like I just have a knack for it because uh, like I've said before, it's really hard for me to get anybody's attention anywhere else other than on stage. So it's like all the stuff that I say I feel like it's pretty important. Um, and I don't need to hear it. It's not for me. So many people do comedy for themselves because they're just so pathetic and weak that they don't know how to validate themselves in their own personal life through positive decisions that they're making. So instead, they go on stage and try to work shit out and it never happens for them. Like tonight, God, there's so many people that were just so terrible. And they just like waste everybody's time. But I don't know if they can't see that because they don't have self-awareness or they're just like angry because they're not good at comedy. Because I've noticed that, like, a bunch of people, like, if, if the show isn't going 
the way that they want it to, they're like, fuck you, you know. I mean, I've done that too, but I'm always like, fuck you anyway, you know. <laughs> that tends to be my, my general attitude towards the public. Uh, but, um, I'm never like, fuck you, because you don't understand this joke, because like a lot of the time they just don't, because they're not smart, you know? I had to stop doing my smart jokes, so they don't fucking get them. They're not informed. Hmm. Anyway. Yeah, tonight was terrible, because there were just so many people that were really, really bad. It was like they're making a thing out of bombing. They think it's cool to bomb, you know? It's, it's not, unless you, like, you learn something. That's the whole point of bombing, to learn shit. To learn shit and to get over yourself and realize that you're not the hot shit that you thought you were before you got on stage. You know? It's, it's a very humbling experience. So if it's not humbling you, then you're clearly the one that's wrong. You know? You're not doing comedy for the right reason. But how many people in this world, let's be real, how many people do anything for the right reason? I feel like Amy Gross is the only one that does comedy for the right reason. Um, but that's just because I have so much shit that needs to be said. That other people need to hear it. Other people need to watch somebody be themselves completely. Joey Goodsong is like obsessed with me. <laughs> the dude from New York. I love his stuff. He's so great. I told him he's such a character, like he actually has real jokes. He writes all the time. And he's probably like one of the only good New Yorkers that we have in Tennessee. 